Moin Moin and welcome to the Copter College. After my first videos over the Phantom 3, the unboxing, assembly and two videos about the pilot app, we are out at the airport today and I will show you the first flight of the Phantom 3 and what you have to obey when you make your first flight with your new copter. First of all, you have to remove the uh, gimbal protector, slide it to the side and then you can check if the gimbal runs free, so there's no problem at the gimbal. Next point, please check that you have inserted the micro SD card because photos and videos are stored here on the micro SD card on the copter, not on the iPad or the, uh, the remote control. Everybody, everything is stored here in the micro SD card. Next point, when you uh, check the copter, please check that the propellers are tightened strong enough so that they can loose in the air. And last point at the copter, check the battery press the button here and there should light up the um, four green lights so you know that the battery is completely charged. When you take the remote control, please take care that the two antennas are parallel and um, go up uh, in this direction. So don't try to fly in a position like this or like this. It's very important that they are parallel and pointing up into the air. Next point is we start the remote control. Therefore, we press the start button twice, one short and one long press. Then the lights flash up. When you charge the battery of the remote control full, you should see four lights for white lights here. Next point, we start the tablet computer. I have an iPad mini and then you start the pilot app. After you started the remote control, we can start the copter and it's exactly the same like at the remote control. One short, one long press. One, two, <laughs> Here we are, that's the copter to the bottom and you should see that the gimbal um, make a calibration. I ha Here we are and the gimbal is calibrated in the right direction and at this point you should see the picture of the camera here on your remote control. When you fly your Phantom 3 the first time, it's important to make a compass calibration. How this works, I will show you in just a second. But first, the question is how often should I make a compass calibration? When I use the copter the first time, it's important to make at this time a compass calibration. But then, at the next flight, it's not important to make a compass calibration before each flight. It's only important when you move between your last flight and the next flight a long distance and the magnetic lines of the Earth change very much. So there you can look at the uh, declination map. There are special declination maps and then you can see if it's necessary to make a new compass calibration. Take care that you don't have any magnetic things in your pockets or that you are on a metal top or you have some metal things under you. Also cars close up to the uh, compass calibration is not very good. Um, and so please take care that there are not any metal things or electric power lines above you which can uh, influence the uh, compass calibration. When you make the compass calibration, you press on uh, the app on the top on the green field which says safe to fly, then opens up a window which says aircraft state and the second line says compass. Usually it should say normal. 
At me, it says also normal, but I will show you how to make the calibration and therefore you press on the calibrate button. After you've pressed the calibrate button, the app says compass, calibrate compass and there you say OK and then you will see the symbol how to calibrate the compass. So, take the copter. On the back side, you will see that the light here at the arm is yellow. Take the copter in the height of your breast and then make a 360 turn. After the first turn, you will see that the light at the back side is green. Now turn the copter in this direction so that the camera points to the bottom and make the next 360 degree turn. When you're ready, the green light at the end of the copter flashes green. So the compass calibration is perfect. Sometimes it's necessary to make a little bit more than a 360 degree turn, so like 380 degrees to get the first and the step, second step of the compass calibration. After you've calibrated the copter, put the copter on a concrete surface or on a flat uh, surface and watch out that the camera points away from you so that you see the battery compartment because when you put the copter in this direction in front of you, the sticks of the remote control work exactly in the same direction which the copter flies. So during the start proce procedure, it's very easy to maneuver the copter. If something happens, you don't have to think twice um, in which direction points a copter, in which direction I have to fly. So take care that the copter is in this direction so you see the battery compartment and the camera points away from you. Now we can start the copter, therefore we move both sticks in the middle down position here and then the propellers should start. The app says that the home point is set, so that's very important because when the home point is set, the copter will fly back to exactly this position if something happens, if you lost connection to the remote control or if the battery gets uh, low down. Uh, lo <laughs> the, the battery lost power, then the copter will fly back exactly to this position. So it's very important that the copter has uh, taken the home point at this position and you can see this in the app and the app says this to you. So now we can start and we move the left stick up. and move the copter in a position like two, three meters above ground and then you take care that the copter is in the air and it's stable in the air and holds the position exactly at this position. Should work like this and then you know everything is correct, then you know that the um, compass calibration was fine, that the GPS position is fine and then you can make your first maneuvers. So, go a little forward, move the right stick forward, the copter flies forward, move the right stick to the right side, we go right to the left side, we go left, put this, pull the stick back, the copter flies towards you, then we go up a little bit with the left stick, go down a little bit, and then we make a turn to the left and we make a turn to the right. So we know everything works fine, the connection between copter and remote control is perfect and we can make our first maneuvers. When the copter is in the air and the camera points to the left side and we push the right stick forward, the copter will fly to the left side because 
forward is the direction where the camera points to. So I move the stick forward, the copter flies to the left. I make a turn so that the camera points to the right side. And when I move the stick forward, the copter flies to the right side. When the camera points towards me, like we have now, and I move the right stick forward, the copter will fly forward to me. So that's what you have to learn. You have to learn in which direction points the camera and which direction points the copter and that you have to learn to move the stick then in the right position so you get the right direction to fly the copter. Yeah, so you can make some more maneuvers. You can fly circles like this. You can go a little bit higher, a little bit lower. If you want, you can make a picture from you. <laughs> Oops, uh, that was too high. We can make a picture now. Press the button here at the back side and here we go and make a picture. Okay, so when you've made your first flights and your first training, turn the copter again, like in the same position you have started the copter. So, the battery points towards you and now we look for the landing position and go down slowly. Make some corrections and when the copter touch down hold the left stick always down till the motor stops. That's it. Congratulations, you've made your first flight with the Phantom 3. And now in exactly the opposite direction, we turn off the copter first. Press once and twice. And then we turn off the remote control. Press one and a second time. So. That's it. That was your first flight with the Phantom 3. In the next videos I will show you a little bit more about the options that the Phantom 3 has. I will show you the difference between the flight modes GPS, that's what we use today, and the ETI mode and the IOC flight mode of the Phantom 3. I will show you a little bit more of the possibilities you have. I will show you with how to work with the camera to change gain values and stuff like this. So this will come up in the next videos of the Phantom 3. I hope you enjoyed my video. If so, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and we will see you the next time here on my YouTube channel. And as always, I say bye and moin moin. <laughs>